In this video, I'm gonna show you how to airbrush a really basic starburst. Let's get into it right now. In this video, I'm gonna be using an eight by eight inch canvas, black and white paint, some masking tape, as well as a few sheets of A4 copy paper and a coin. You'll find out what that's for towards the end of the video. And the airbrushes that I'll be using is the GSI Creos PS289 and the Awada Eclipse Takumi. You can find links to all these products in the description below. First thing I'm going to do is base up the canvas with black. Now adding white into the airbrush. Now using some masking tape, just tear off a couple of strips. I'm going to start off with the vertical lines of the starburst. Now what you want to do is line them up and you can see the gap there. You don't need much at all. Now, even though I'm going to spray mostly in the center here, I still could get overspray, which travels out past this edge. And then that would create a mark along here, which I don't want. So the best thing to do is grab your copy paper, peel off a longer strip of masking tape about the length of the copy paper and stick that down. And you can see that half of the tape is on the paper and the other half is not. Using that paper, I'm just going to mask off this part here and the other side. Now using my airbrush with that white, I just want to aim the airbrush at that center section and just circle it around a little bit. But I'm not traveling all the way up and down. You'll see why in a moment. Peel that off. Carefully remove your masking tape. And you can see how far that's traveled, even though I've just focused on that center section. Now you'll also notice that I have had a bit of lift off. So I wanted to show you that. And in order to minimize the chance of that happening, peel off a bit of the masking tape for your next line, and then just place that on your skin or even on your clothes. And that'll just remove some of the tackiness. Do that to both pieces. So going back to your black, this becomes your eraser. I'm just going to freehand them out. If you're not confident, freehand. And you can use like a bit of paper or a loose template and just hit the edge. But most of these are away from that starburst. And blend it out a little more than just the dot if you can. And you can see I've gotten rid of all of them except for this one here. It's really close to that starburst line. So I'm going to use the paper, just lay that on there and then just spray that out like so. using the air to dry it or a heat gun or a hair dryer and once that's dry I can work on my horizontal line. Okay so using the strips again line up the horizontal and make this one the same sort of thickness as the vertical. Again mask up around it with your copy paper and again using white around about 10 centimeters away you don't have to be up super close. Just going to dust that on you stay in that center section, do a bit of a circular movement, and that'll be enough for the overspray to travel. Again, remove all your masks. Still going to need them, so don't throw them away. Peel off the masking tape. This time it shouldn't lift off any of that paint. You can see it's tapered off quite a bit along either side. So now I have the vertical as well as the horizontal. Now I want to put in some diagonals. Exactly the same principle. Another couple of strips of masking tape. Again, remove the tack. And these ones I want a little bit thinner. Paper mask. So you can see it's very straightforward, really easy to do. And this can also be used for highlights in armor or any metal surface. It's not just for space scenes. So it's a very cool effect to know how to do. And nice and handy, all sorts of artwork. 
mask. So you notice how much finer that diagonal is, so that's what you want. Last diagonal. So again, just using the same masking tape, you can see I've just switched the edge. Paper mask. Again, you can see where they all cross over, so aiming for that section. Circular motion, about 10 to 15 centimetres from the surface. And unmask it. I don't need these anymore, so you can get rid of them. And you can see now all of the lines that have crossed over, you can kind of make out the layers, so I want to get rid of that. The beauty of the white is that it is opaque, and this will also give it that nice glow. So you want to be up close, I'm probably about just over a centimetre away, so not super close, but close enough. Eliminate those layers. You can see I'm moving that trigger finger back and forth, and then when you're happy with the spray, just move away from the surface and it's going to create a bit of that glow. Now you can leave it like this, no problem at all. But remember I said to you I'll show you what the coin's for. So now I'm going to use this coin as a positive mask, lay that over the starburst. And I'm just going to spray around it. A bit heavier on the top. So that's kind of suggesting my light source at the top left and then carefully remove it. And you can see I've got a nice little halo around my starburst, super easy to do. So you can use a coin like this or anything that's circular and you can experiment with even doing different sizes and then you can come up with a variety of different effects. Even though that looks cool, I'm gonna add in some other stars. So this you can just do freehand. Have some larger ones, up close for finer ones. Also add in a comet, so it's easy enough to do. Just do a larger glow, similar to when you're doing a star. Build it up, don't try to saturate it. And then once you've done that, let's do like a little mini dagger stroke, taper it off. So you're kind of going thick to thin. And then you have a very basic, simple to do comet. And then a couple more stars. You can also spatter stars. And I'll show you how to do spattering in a lot of my videos. If it spiders out on you, just let it dry with a bit of air. And then work back over the top of it. So you can see how quick and easy it was to achieve a simple starburst. This is a perfect exercise for all beginners. I hope you enjoy creating them and feel free to experiment and see what you can come up with and how you can use a starburst within your artwork.